Now that you have your color wheel done, we're going to work on adding tints, shades, and intensities to your color wheel colors. The first one we're going to work on is shades. Before we start, move all of your colors into a folder called color wheel. Then add a new layer, rename it shades. Then I want you to go over to the color picker and change your colors, whatever they may be, to default. And you can do that by clicking these two small squares. It says default foreground and background colors. That will give you black as your foreground color. The foreground color simply means the color that you will work with, the color that will paint or that will um, show up when you use your paint bucket. Um, that's what foreground means. The background color is the one that I usually just use to store a color. So right now I've got white stored there and if I ever want to use white I can switch the colors with this double arrow or by clicking X. So now I have black and I'm going to switch to my brush and what I want to do is to give my colors a gradient, so to speak, of black, or to show the steps of the shades. So first I'm going to make my brush as large or just slightly smaller than my circle. You can do this by changing the size up here in your options bar, but it's much easier and faster to use the brackets on your keyboard, which are located next to the P. So I can use my right bracket to make my brush bigger. Every time I click it makes it slightly larger and you can see that that is exactly the same size as my shape so that's not what I want. I want it slightly smaller and you'll notice that I had a soft brush so I'm going to switch to a hard brush and again make it slightly smaller than my circle centering as best as I can and I'm going to click once and show you that that is completely black what we want to do is to show steps from lighter to black so we're going to change your opacity to 10% and now when I click, you can see that the purple just gets slightly darker. So I'm going to leave my mouse in exactly the same place and I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller and click, smaller and click. And I'm just going to keep doing this, trying to keep my mouse in exactly the same place until I can't see my brush anymore. And by the time you get that far down, you should be at black. So I'm going to continue doing this with all of my shapes, making my brush bigger, slightly smaller than the circle, or whatever shape you happen to have, and click alternating back and forth between making my brush smaller and clicking my paintbrush. 